Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about how to print a particular matrix in a snake pattern. So what exactly is the snake pattern? Sounds interesting, right? So the snake pattern is that first you have to go to the right, in the next row you have to go to the left, in the next row you have to go to the right again, in the next row you have to go to the left again. That is basically the traversal would be like this. It would be first this then this then this and then this okay so it would basically be looking like a snake okay uh, so what should be the output that we are getting for this particular case is 1 2 3 4 8 7 6 5 9 10 11 12 and it would be followed by 16, 15, 14, 13. Okay. So, this would be the basically the output for uh, this particular input. And um, also, what should be the logic behind this particular problem? See, as you can see, every, uh, this would be my 0th uh, row. This would be my first row, this would be my second row, this would be my third row. So as you can see, whenever I am getting an even row number, then I am going from left to right. So for even, I am going from left to right. For odd, I would be going from right to left. For odd, I would be going from right to left. Okay. So, even basically, if my row number, for example, i is divisible by 2, I would be going from left to right. If i mod 2 is not equal to 0, or if it is an odd number, I would be going from right to left okay so uh, let me let's just go to our pie chart and let's start coding for this particular problem let me keep these functions intact because we would have to write the same function again in order to display or do something else that is you must have watched my uh, matrix introduction video if not it would be in the video section only uh, please watch it before coming to this section so I have my input as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and so on. Now we would be printing the snake pattern. So def snake suppose. Let me take in the input as mat. Okay. And uh, let's calculate this particular problem. Uh, let's solve this particular problem. So first I would be going through all of the elements, uh, all of the list so for uh, this is for i is for signifying the list number okay for i in range it would be len of mat that is the number of lists in this particular matrix that is the number of rows in this particular matrix and if i mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 that is if it is an even number i would be going for j in range I would be going from left to right that is len of mat of i and I would be printing this particular value so mat of i and j and I would be ending it with a space okay and if it is not true then I would be going from this is for I would be going from left to right okay now for the second uh, case that is if it is not divisible by 0 for j in range uh, I would be starting from the first index uh, from the last index that is len of mat of i minus 1 comma minus 1 and 
the steps would be minus one as well. Uh, so it would be going from the rightmost index to the leftmost index. Since I have given minus one because it would be going till one greater, that is zero. And I would be uh, going through all of the elements by reducing it by one. Now print mat of i comma j, and I would be ending it with a space. Okay. So let's just print this particular value. Uh, this snake pattern. So it would be snake, and I would be passing. the parameter as mat or matrix okay uh let me run the video uh, run this particular solution so i am getting the output as let me see whether we are getting the same output or not so we should get i guess yeah it is fine now so we should get 1 2 3 4 8 7 6 5 9 10 11 12 16 15 14 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 Okay, so as you can see that we have successfully coded for the uh, snake pattern. In the else case, it would be going from right to left. So I hope so you understood this uh, particular problem, guys, and you were able to understand the solution as well. What exactly we were doing? How to exactly print the snake pattern? What are the conditions when we are going from the left to right of an array, or when, or the condition where we are going from right to left of an array? So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, see you in the next one.